What is up everybody? It's Ben with SRKCycles.com and today I've got a 2001 Vulcan Nomad. It's a 1500 and uh, we're going to take a quick walk around this thing. If you're interested in this bike, you're going to want to stick around for this video and see all the details. Here's your rear tire. Rear tire is decent. I'll call it like 50%. I think it would definitely pass inspection. Um, it would be good to ride on. Got a lot of miles there. So you got your exhaust there. You can see both your turn signals and your tail light. All that's good to go. Put some marks there in the back. It actually just rained here. So I just wiped some of the raindrops off of this thing. Got caught in it. So I apologize if it's a little wet, but that's what I'm doing. So you got that there. You got the, uh, the license plate mount underneath and this tour pack. Um, open that up. See in there. Right. Cool. Got the luggage rack up top. Um, this paint's okay. Um, it, it's pretty decent for being a 2001. There's some light. There's some spots where you could maybe use a little improvement. But all in all, it's not a bad bike. I think there's like 40 some thousand miles on it, so it's looking in good shape for having that many miles on it. Um, so yeah. So then we're gonna look here at the side bags. There are the two tone. Got the. Uh, the Nomad on there. Um, I do know with the Kawasaki's you can't open these bags without the key. So I'll do that on the other side because the key is on the other side. Um, so that's that. Just some little white flakes here from the cloth I used to wipe the rain off. There's a uh, there's a mark right there at my pointer finger that I want to point out. One of the cool things about this bike is it already has the ultimate seat, passenger and rider on it. So that's a nice upgrade. Got your passenger floorboard, your side panel, rider floorboard, Rear brake. There you go. You can see the 1500 on the side of the air cleaner there. And close on the motor. And it jumps out at you. There you go. Uh, this bike does have the highway pegs on. There you go. Actually, look at that. They have a little barred shield on there. Um, on the foot fairings, the foot fairings do have this, this air dam that opens. It's kind of a nice feature. If you want to let air in on your legs, if you don't, either way, you can have it open or closed. Uh, here on the side of the tank, you can see that the side of the tank is in nice shape. Um, I don't have any scratches or major dents or dings or anything I have to point out. I mean, it is a 2001, so there's a little bit of mark right there around the badge. Other than that, not too much. There you go. We keep moving around to the front. I got the accessory lights on there on the lower fairing. Jump up here to the top. You can see it's got the, uh, the taller smoked windshield. That's nice to keep the wind off you if you want to be behind that fairing while you're riding. Uh, as far as marks here in the fairing, I have one right here. Yep, the rest of these little marks are just, uh, there's some of the white from when I wiped it off with the cloth. Um, there's the headlight, and you got your, your turn signals there and there. You gotta just have these, these air dams here too. Got the uh, front fender here. Front fender has a little mark here on the corner. Some scrapes and whatnot, so notice that. Um, and some other little like spec chips here and there. They're not too bad, they don't jump right out at you, but they are there. There's one there. These ones underneath here are a little bit worse. There's a little bit of like a, there's a spot here on the side where the the, the fender actually is like kind of in, a concave uh, to allow for the fork tube to go through. In there is some scratching. I don't know why that would be, but that is that way. But I checked both sides and they both have a little concave mark, so that's not an actual dent. That's the way it's supposed to be. Jump down here to the front tire. There you can see plenty of life left on that. I'm calling that like 60 or 70 percent. So your front wheel, I'm um, starting to show a little bit of wear, a little bit of age. Got a little bit of rust starting right there on one of the a couple of the spokes, but I think you could shine that up pretty nice with a uh, little bit of effort. So we'll come over here to the other side. Whoop. Forgot about the fork tubes. We're gonna run down them real quick. Upper fork tubes are good. Lower fork tubes are showing some pitting. So you can see that on both sides. There's your front brake there. Again, there's that uh, lower, look at the auxiliary light, lower foot bearing. It's got that sliding air dam. The ignition is over here. I'm gonna actually grab those keys out real quick so we can open up one of these bags. Let's actually use one of the keys for that. That's not it. All right. I'm the 
I'm a joker. Alright. Well, looks not, not right now. You can see on this side of the tank, it's in decent shape. It's actually starting to rain again, so if you see some drips on it, that's what's going on. You got your rider floorboard, toe shifter, heel shifter, passenger floorboard, your side cover, and everything in here on the, on the motor. There's this bag. Got a little scratch there on top. Another little scratch there on top. Other than that, not too bad. Got a little scratch here on the side, actually. I'm gonna point out right there. Right there. You're gonna look at the trunk. The back, the backrest, ultimate passenger seat, backrest, and the ultimate seat for the rider. This little pouch here. Got the gauges. You know, clutch controls. Throttle brake, kill switch. It does have the uh, the radio in there. Just turn this on. There we go. Got it in neutral. Fire this thing up. Turn signals work. That turn signal. This turn signal. Jump in the back. See that one on that side. And that one on that side. I did not show you guys the mileage yet. This bike currently has 48,200 miles on it. There'll be a few more than that after Sean does his test drive. Make sure you check out the test drive on YouTube. And thanks so much for watching. This is a 2001 Vulcan Nomad 1500. Thank you.